<laughs> Does that look right? I'm Ingla Viano, I'm a DJ, I run a party called Heat Wave, and I am from New Orleans. I started DJing in September of 2011. I moved to Columbus, Ohio for grad school. I got an MFA in creative writing and fiction. I was super homesick. I moved to Columbus and I knew that there were other um, other soul DJs who were doing all vinyl. Like this was not special to New Orleans or novel. And like Chicago has two of them. Dallas has one. You know, there's a bunch in New York. There's there's one in Atlanta. So I was like, well, surely in Columbus, Ohio, it's like the 15th biggest city in the United States. Like, surely someone is doing this, and then I don't have to be so sad. Mm -hmm. And I can go out dancing. And I, like, Googled it. <laughs> I did all this internet research. And there wasn't one. There was a funk night. And I went, I went to it with some friends. I don't want to be shady. <laughs> I don't want to be shady, but it was just, it didn't really hit the spot. I'd never DJed before. I didn't have a bunch of records. I'd never, I mean, I kind of knew how to use a turntable. It was in the back of my head as like a way to get the thing that I needed, which was to go dancing to that music. I'm going in, it's like, Where's everybody at? Like, what does this room feel like? Uh, also, what kind of mood am I in? And knowing that I'm, I'm trying to cater to making the dance floor happen. And so I'll warm them up to dance, and then I'll get them kind of dancing, and then I'll warm them up to sing. Um, and I'll get them kind of singing, and then I have some songs, and I'm like, okay, like, now you're ready. A lot of times when dudes DJ, and you see more dudes DJing than women, um, they do it like to demonstrate their encyclopedic music knowledge. Mm -hmm. And I was not DJing because I felt like I had encyclopedic music knowledge. I was DJing because I wanted to dance. And I feel like you can tell the difference between a DJ who's there to show you how much they know versus a DJ who's there to like make a dance floor happen. It turns out that DJing isn't really like dancing. Like it doesn't, uh, you, especially with the records, like because if you dance too hard, you like bump the table and the record skips. <laughs> I'm really responsive to music. I'm just like, I, I play piano, I like, mm -hmm. am a dancer, like I, uh, I'm, I'm really sensitive to music if I'm out in public or at a friend's house or whatever and there's like a song comes on that I know I like can't, um, I can't c continue to interact with the person. <laughs> like, I, pardon me while I attend to this music. <laughs> There's 30 people dancing, but they seem like they're having their own experience. And what I like is when it becomes like one like vibe and everyone is like having a shared experience. Mm -hmm. And then so it's like getting that thing to happen and then taking it from like A to B. Mm -hmm. <laughs> graduated and I was waitressing at this 24-hour diner called Louis Cafe and I was working the graveyard shift. I would always put it on the 60s pop station because that's my jam and what I observed was not only was I in a better mood because it was the station that I wanted to listen to but everyone would sing everyone became happy. What I really want is for everyone to let go and I feel like encouraging them to be ridiculous and forget about what they look like is important and so I play to that. Mm -hmm. So um, so sometimes I play songs that are really corny yeah. <laughs> or goofy just and and it only works when they're when they're really loose. Mm -hmm. But for them to be really warm and really dancing. 
dancing and really singing and feeling good and then play a really goofy song and then they just act like really ridiculous. Mm -hmm. um, like that's my, that's my yeah. favorite part. <laughs>